On October 10, 1990, a girl named Nayira testified before the United States Congressional Human Rights Caucus that Iraqi soldiers took away 500 incubators from premature babies in a Kuwaiti hospital and left them to die. The emotional testimony was used as a justification by the Bush administration to enter and support Kuwait in the Gulf War. The narrative set was that Saddam's regime was evil and must be destroyed by backing Kuwait in the Gulf War. The testimony played a crucial role in shifting public sentiments in favor of war and support for Kuwait. A division of the Human Rights Watch in the Middle East investigated the matter in 1992 and concluded that Nayira's testimony was a lie. Doctors in the hospital told investigators that the maternity ward had only 30 incubators. None were snatched from babies or stolen. Another investigation by Kroll Associates interviewed Nayira where she changed her statement to have seen only one baby without an incubator, and that too for only a brief moment. The whole propaganda campaign was concocted by an American PR firm, Hill and Knowlton, hired by the US and Kuwaiti governments. Nayira, in fact, was the daughter of the Kuwaiti ambassador to the US.